Hey everyone, welcome to day three of sleeping on the floor in my daughter's bedroom. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up there for you. Um, I am so sleep deprived right now, that's why I got these giant bags under my eyes. And I kind of feel like I got hit by a truck and like dragged. <laughs> so. If I sound really spacey and look really tired, it's because I am really spacey and really tired. So, uh, anyhow, about a month ago, I did a video on my hermit crab tank. Um, I had just found a 20 gallon tank in my mom's barn and I brought it home and I cleaned it up and we, I decorated it. Um, actually, I, I started decorating it and then I found that one of my hermit crabs was molting um, and it burrowed down and so I couldn't finish the project because I needed all the crabs out of the pro kind of out of the tank so I could kind of do everything. Anyhow, long story short, um, I went up there and he had finished his molt really fast and was already back out and so I took him and put him in with the other crabs. I was finally able to finish my hermit crab tank. So let's go check that video out. I'll show you. Actually, I'm just gonna patch it into this like okay, well, I you don't need to know how that works. It's like it's, it's boring technical YouTube stuff. You don't care about that stuff, right? Let's just go watch this the video. <laughs> All right, everyone, enjoy. Okay, I am just using branches hot glued onto maple bark. So I split the bark into manageable pieces and then just hot glued branches. So I'm, what I'm planning to do is kind of make a second floor. Um, using this, I want it to be real natural looking. Everything about the cage needs to be natural. I really like the natural look best. Um, I like the moss, I like you know, the the deep sand and everything. Now they can use, um, I want to be able to make it so they can climb up onto this and have plenty of space to run around up on top as well. So what I'm doing is I'm using different levels of bark. Um, one is a little higher than the other so they can actually go between, get up onto the flooring and then use the whole um, bark floor space. Um, see right here, they can kind of crawl up this area here, kind of as a ramp. Um, plenty of room. Hermit crabs love to climb, so... And I just love the look of this mossy bark. It's just perfect for what I'm planning. So, lots of room underneath for hiding as well. Um, you know, lots of hiding places. I like this moss. I've got live moss in here. Um, I need to be able to access the water underneath here and I need to be able to access um, the food dishes that I use, which is just these little shells that are um, like the flat shells. So there it is now with the second layer, which kind of has a natural ramp on it over here, um, which I kind of like. Um, so they can kind of crawl up onto the first layer and then crawl up onto the second layer. And again, it's just branches glued to bark. So they can actually access all of these areas to climb on and it gives them more floor space but it also also looks really natural, so I really like the look with the moss and the, I'm, I've got hen and chicks in there as well, these little plants. Um, so you can kind of see plenty of room for them to run, um, but still access all of the food, both water dishes, because they need salt water and fresh water. And now I've put in some aloe vera 
which is live. They can eat that. There's nothing wrong with that. So they can also use it as a ladder to kind of access the upper decks if they want. Um, so here it is. You can kind of see the food dish there in between the two water dishes. I change out the food and I use a lot of stuff like, um, you know, just fresh vegetables and crumbled eggshell and stuff like that as well for them. Um, but they always have food available. So you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to show you in this with a phone, but you can kind of see there, it's quite um, three dimensional with layers and um, hiding places. So I've got uh, five little hermit crabs in here right now. They're all pretty small. None of them are larger than like a ping pong ball. So this should last them for a while. I'm hoping um, the extra floor space will give them some room to kind of run and play. So that's it. Please give the video a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye.